Welcome to Antenna by Panda. This is a uh, nine element Shaggy for the amateur band with design frequency of 142 to 148 MHz. But this can easily be used on from 140 to 150 MHz. So let's check the antenna configuration and let's count the, um, the number of elements. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a Gamma Machiagi with an SO239 feed point. The tuning stub is positioned almost at the middle of the gamma match so I'm going to put a marking tapes on that tuning stub so that you just need to put back the tuning stub in between those marking tapes the elements are secured with bolts and nuts on the element holder attached to the boom we have a PL259 connector connected to an RG8 coaxial cable. This is going to my antenna analyzer. So let's check the frequency response of this antenna. At the center frequency, we have 145.7 as the center frequency. We are at resonance. So we have 48.52 ohms or almost nine, uh, 49 ohms. The resistance and impedance and the BSWR of 1.035. So let's check the frequency carb. So we have 145.7, we have 1.031. The frequency sweep is one, from 140 to 150. As we can see, the BSWR is less than 1.5 is to 1 across the frequency band of 10 megahertz span from 140 to 150. So let's check the antenna return loss. This is the impedance at 48.56 or 49 ohms. Resistance, same. This is the reactance at 0 0.37 and the S11 carb or the antenna return loss at minus 36.27 dB. So let's go to the individual frequency from 145. First let's go down to 145 is one point. 35 or 1 1.4 144 is 1 1.4 143 is 1 1.4 142 is 1 1.4 141 is 1 1.4 140 is 1 1.5 let's go up So 146 is 1.17 or 1 1.2 147 is 1 1.5 148 is 1 1.6 149 is 1 1.6 And 150 is 1 1.7 So this is a pretty usable antenna Let's check the frequency response of this antenna using the SX400 BSWR meter so we have the nine elements Yagi antenna for the amateur band. This time let's test the antenna using the Nano VNA. So this is the same antenna connected to the feed line, an RG8 coaxial cable. This is now attached to my Nano VNA. Hello Sylvester. So let's check the frequency response. So we have the Nano VNA, we have the frequency sweep, we have the lowest frequency at 140 and the highest frequency at 150. 
we are at the center of the lowest uh, point on the carb which is 145.8 so let's move that to 145.7 1.04 SWR so the lowest point is 145.8 as we can see we have 1.03 at minus 34.48 dB return loss or antenna return coefficient we have the same impedance at 48.5 or 49 ohms so let's check the upper frequency at 150 so let's move up so we have the dip there this is 149.3 at 1.53 still 1.6 or 1.5 so let's go up to 150 150 is 1. 76 or 1.8 BSWR let's check the intermediate frequency at 149 149 is 1.68 or 1.7 let's check 148 148 is 1.6 let's check 147 147 is 1.42 146 is 1.1 145.8 uh, is 1.03 let's go to 145 145 is 1.34 144 is 1.33 143 is 1.42 141 is 1.5 and 140 is 1.62 or 1.6 so this is a pretty usable antenna with the same frequency response as we can see from the N121SA so this time let's use uh, the radio and SX400 BSWR meter to check the frequency response on the analog meter so basically the N121SA and the Nano VNA are giving the same readout so this time let's check the frequency response of this 9 element Yagi antenna against an analog BSWR meter it's the Diamond SX400 so we have the same antenna configuration our tuning stub is positioned almost at the middle of the gamma match we have the same feed line PL259 connected to an RG8 coaxial cable except this time this is now going at the back of an SX400 that's the transmit side going to the antenna and we have the uh, that's the receive side going to the antenna and the transmit side going to the yaisu 2900 so let's check the power output of the radio so low one we have 
low 2 low 3 low 1 low 2 and high power so high power is about 60 watts on my AC 2900 so let's recalibrate the VSWR meter so we need to set it to full deflection before we can check the SWR so we are on full deflection at 145.6 at high power so let's check the forward power so as we can see we have 60 watts transmit power so let's go to SWR mode so we press the PTT so as we can see there's no deflection on 145.6 we have 1 is to 1 BSWR let's adjust it to 145.7 because that's what we test on the N121SA so let's recalibrate we need to adjust the needle to full deflection so we are on full deflection at 145.7 wait we need to readjust so we have full deflection let's recheck okay so switch to SWR mode and press the PTT as we can see we still have no movements on the needle there's a little movement but negligible so we are still 1 is to 1 on 145.7 so let's check the lowest frequency going up to 150 so from 140 let's recalibrate so full deflection again switch to SWR mode we uh, have 1.3 uh, SWR on 140 let's go up to 142 let's recalibrate adjust the needle to full deflection we are on full deflection switch to SWR mode still we have 1.3 BSWR on 142 let's go to 143 so we are now on 143 let's recalibrate so set the needle to full deflection again and press the PTT switch to SWR mode press the PTT so still we have 1.3 SWR on 143 let's go to 144 let's recalibrate so we are on full deflection switch to SWR mode we have 1.4 SWR on 144 let's go to 145 let's recalibrate oops we exceed the deflection so let's go back to full deflection 145 switch to SWR mode we have 1.4 or 1.5 SWR because it's in the middle of 1.4 and 1.5 let's go to 146 let's recalibrate so we have full deflection switch to SWR mode we are 1.2 on 146 147 now let's recalibrate we exceed the full deflection so we have to adjust the needle switch to SWR let's recheck that's full deflection 147 switch to SWR mode and we have 1.5 or yeah it's 1.5 SWR on 147 let's go to 148 
let's recalibrate we are on full deflection switch to SWR mode we have 1.6 SWR on 148 let's go to 149 let's recalibrate so we have to adjust the needle to full deflection we are on full deflection at 149 switch to SWR mode so we have 1.5 in between 1.5 and 1.6 so it's 1.6 the SWR on 149 let's go to 150 let's recalibrate so full deflection switch to SWR mode and still we have 1.6 the SWR on 150 so this antenna is pretty usable and properly working on the selected frequencies this is designed from 142 to 148 but this antenna can be used from 140 to 150 megahertz with a good BSWR response ago across the frequency band of 10 megahertz span so the exact center frequency is around 145.6 and 145.7 megahertz as we can see on the BSWR response of this antenna we are on the SWR position so we're pre pressing the PTT and we don't have any needle movement at all so that's one is to one BSWR on 145.6. Again, thank you for watching and we have the same frequency response of the nine element Shaggy antenna using the Nano VNA, the N121 SA antenna analyzer and the SX400 with the 60 watts load from the ISU 2900. So again, this is Antenna by Panda. Thank you for watching.